Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. It is uh, just after 12.45. Thanks for joining us live on YouTube TV, Facebook, Instagram, and at centralvalleytalk.com. I'm Austin Reed. Great to be with you again. Hope you're having a good week so far. It is cloudy in the Central Valley today. Saw a little bit of rain in parts of Fresno. Uh, my next guest, we were just talking uh, right before the interview. You were saying that um, the Midwest is parts of the Midwest going to get pounded with like 20 to 40 inches of snow over the next few days. That's what they said. Was it like Wyoming, South Dakota? Those uh, sounds about right. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, we need the rain here at least in Fresno. So uh, now you are with KMY uh, Prosthetic and Ortho. Okay. Ortho orthotic. 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 Okay. No <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you, brother? Good to meet you. You too. Thank you for having me on. And uh, my name is Najib Chaudhry. So today, uh, you know, I'm back again just educating the community on what is orthotics. Right. Yeah. Mike Briggs uh, interviewed you last couple of times. Yes. This is my first time talking to you. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of information, uh, helpful information for our uh, uh, viewers today. So first off, we're going to be talking about what general uh, orthos orthosis, orthosis is. is. General yeah, orthosis. orthosis. So orthosis is any weakness of a joint that we give sport through by putting outside brace, whether it's arm brace, leg brace, spinal brace, foot and ankle uh, items. So this is what a general orthosis is, any item that needs sport, any weakness of your joints, and then that's what we're sporting. Okay, so then, so this, and this can affect anywhere from uh, your foot. Shoulder, arm, legs, okay. you name it, elbows, carpal tunnel, a lot of people have carpal tunnel, lower back pain, uh, they sprain their ankles, they're in a walking boot, uh, they have nighttime splints, they wake up with those plantar fasciitis, nighttime pains, Okay. Uh, okay. some of those stuff, you know, we address with uh, bracing them. So, so tell me a little bit about um, some examples in, in depth. So when we talk about lower extremity, so lower extremity is anything below, knee, okay. hip and below. Okay. Hip okay. and below. So whether we're talking about a knee brace, so this is an example of a knee brace that you can put on, it wraps around, and then you put it on to give a sport at the knee. Mm -hmm. We have hip joints that we can sport for people that have uh, constantly losing their hip, you know, it's... They're Kelly abduction, but it's loose. So then we can put on hip joints as well and hip braces. This is for somebody that has plantar fasciitis, which is basically nighttime. They have to keep their foot straight. Otherwise, they wake up with a lot of pain on the first few steps. Yeah, my father-in-law had yeah. to do that. And, yeah. man, he had to keep that on for it was a long time. What's yeah. the average time? It, you know, it varies. Okay. It varies. The, some people, it's good for a couple of weeks. They're good to go. Other people have to go months and and so, you know, it's whatever each person responds differently to that. Okay. So this is a... But it helps dramatically, right? For a lot of people, it's a benefit. That's okay. why they wear it. Okay. Otherwise, you know, if it didn't work, people won't wear it. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely not. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? So this is called uh, AFO. Okay. And AFO is basically to help people with drop foot. Okay. So people that get stroke or nerve damage in the legs, they can't lift their foot even though they try. They just cannot lift and control that foot. So the people talk about, you know what, other people complain, you know what, I can hear them going, I can hear them all the way slapping their foot. But the person, he or she doesn't hear it because they tune it out. Right, right. So this one can be put in the shoe. It's always meant to be worn in the shoe, never okay. by itself. So this is one type of AFO uh, made of plastic. Mm. So lighter material, and that's the way that goes. This is another AFO example, and the difference is it's made of carbon. And so it's a little bit sturdier. Of course, the cost would be different in each one of those. Okay, so those are the general examples of lower extremity we do. I want to talk a little bit now about spinal, okay. um, because so many people have spinal issues. Yeah, without a doubt, especially with uh, obesity and in general, uh, people abuse themselves. You know, we as even as kids, we roughhouse and we you know, do dog piles, jump piles, whatever you want to talk about, yeah. and people end up with injuries, car accidents, and all these things. So one of the, this is one type of pre-made brace, oh. and it just goes around, as you see, this is a back sport here, uh -huh. and then they wrap around, and they can tighten it, and then they put, pull the straps to get 
like a bear hug. Right. To offload the pressure on their lower vertebrae. Now, these braces, we make them the pre-made ones come. And then if we need custom ones, we can make custom ones from people like I, I went to the hospital the other day, did a patient uh -huh. that needs all the way from the neck down to the back of the sport. But they need a custom one. So we measure them and we have them make and we'll fit them something like that. Beautiful. So each, you know, it's, uh, depending on the level of sport they need, there are different braces and different names for them. But this is just one brace type for the spinal. Here's a question. Sure. I have issues with my back already, but to bring that one step further, it's very hard for me as I'm getting older to like have really good posture and stand up right. straight. Would something like that help with posture? Yes. Oh. And we even have postural braces by, by itself for, for people with kyphosis, you know, uh -huh. the hunchbacks and right. these, yeah. uh, uh, people with, uh, scoliosis adults mm -hmm. that had scoliosis kids that didn't get it treated you know what happens is they start leaning to one side so much they're cutting into the rib feels like it's cutting into so the idea is we don't really manage scoliosis in adult but we can take this brace now to strain them up just a little bit to take that pressure Dang. off so they can breathe better and it makes so much difference on somebody it, that is not in constant pain. Right. And like you said, yours, postural braces are very good. These things, especially if you put them around, you put it on, you feel that bear hug, you sit up straight. Yeah, and you're so much taller yeah. uh, and, and much more attractive. To, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Yeah. 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 Bad yeah. posture, looking like a hunchback, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt, and you know, it, not only the posture, but just that you have other problems as a result of, uh, right? And that that's the main thing for our, many of our community members is their um, they get their spinal cords compressed and they have so much pain they can't continue with life. And people say, you know, they're let's say thirty year old, mm -hmm. but if they had spinal injury, they they're pretty much sometimes on chronic pain management and stuff like that, and they have to have surgeries and so. It's a lot of different things. Because back surgery, that's hit or miss if it's going to work. And, I mean, it's dangerous in some cases, right? Yes, but today's technology uh -huh. has come long ways. And many surgeons, if you find a good surgeon, they can get it pretty close where they don't do worse. But, okay. you, as you said, let's say 80%, 90% do a lot of good. There's always that 10% that didn't work for you. It's just like when you replace a knee joint and stuff like that. 99% uh, people are happy with it, but that 10%, they just don't have the mobility like they used to. So, uh, We've got about a minute left. Anything else that uh, you want to show us? Anything else I yeah, missed? Yes, so the, uh, for people with the carpal tunnel syndrome, mm, this yeah. is a wrist brace. Okay. Uh, and a lot of people get it from repetitive exercise, whatever it is, typing, whatever it is these days. Uh, thumb, people have thumb mm -hmm. issues, and so this is a wrist brace. I just like to remind people that we do free evaluations at KMY Prosthetics and Orthotics. For people that cannot, that have right issues, we I do come to them, visit home visits. There's no charge for any of this stuff. So if you need a free evaluation, you can come by the office or we come to you and we'll talk to you and see if you, it's something we can help you. And then we can check with insurance and stuff. And the website is kmyop.com. The office number is up there, 559-277-3909. The fax number is there. And... Uh, you know, we like we look forward to helping as many people as we can in the local community. No, and officially, are you you are a doctor, right? Yes, I. Uh, All right. Well, Doctor Shadri. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. Thank you. Great uh, examples, and I need to talk to you more about my back. So <laughs> we'll be having that conversation no in problem. just a second. I appreciate. Uh, it. See you next time. You're going to come back, right? Yes, sir. Very good. Thank Looking you. forward to it. All right, I'm Austin Breed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We're back in the one o'clock hour with more live local guests. Hang tight.